are getting started. Okay, so we cracked that line first. Just got it draining into a bucket for now, and I'll do the next one, and then. Here's an adapter fitting that I put in because this is an old style box. And I originally made AN lines. So it's that 11 16 inverted flare to a, I think it's, I believe it's a six. But I eventually got a, uh, you know, custom power steering hubs made but I just retained it because I had it. So it was already in the box. So I just got to move it over to the new one. I knew the newer style boxes, I forget what year I changed it. May, might be 1981 after 1981 and newer. That's when they changed this fitting up here to uh, metric, I believe. So you could use those style power steering hoses from the LS pump to the stock box on the 80 Chevys, but you'd have to double check that. I'm not 100% sure. All right, next, we'll remove this push bolt here. Mine's a 13 millimeter because I did the X J steering conversion on this portion. take off the pitman arm i don't know what size this bolt normally is but mine down here is the 7 8 on the nut and the bolt head is a 13 16 for me so that's what i gotta use we'll get this one loosened up i know these are i believe they're torqued to 90 foot pounds or so. these bolts got that one here sorry for the camera the other one yeah you can see it it's right in the shadow there right here and then there's that one that one up above the brake lines they're all five eighths so i wish i had my fuel for my torch because I don't really want to play around but we're gonna have to try it without the torch I just sprayed them down with PB blaster I'm gonna let them sit for a little while and then I'll give them a go as I went through and I cracked each bolt loose that way everything's kind of coming apart evenly I don't get weird pressures that may cause you know tension snapping bolts but you can see this is how i'm doing this one first because this is the last one i cracked loose and it's just kind of a pain to get into but it's just uh that's what i got going here just use this couldn't get the breaker bar in there so this is working and it's it's coming right out so i'm gonna finish 
backing all these, well, getting them loose, leave the last one in there so I can take it out by hand and get my hand under the box, get ready to drop it down. Okay, I'm almost there. I left this bolt here for last. This is the one I'm gonna loosen as I hold it because it's the easiest one to get to for me. So I'm just gonna sit here, loosen it, and I've already had my hand on this. That way when it's done, I'll just, you know, I'll have a hold of it and it won't fall to the ground and we'll be good to go. So, let's hook it up like that. Yeah, don't mind the dog. So there's the old one, nice and crusty. It's definitely original. It's the new one. I have to put the part number down. It's a, I forget what kind it is, but it came from Advance. It was the only one I could get here within reason. Got this all cleaned up, painted. It's good to go. Uh, good news is, of course, no cracks. I know these are sometimes problematic in these areas. And if I had a lot more time to turn this into a big project, I would already weld in the reinforcement plates for these, but I'm not worried about it since there's nothing going on right now. So I'm just gonna put it all back together as is. So that's all painted, ready to go. Got the old fitting out. That's my adapter fitting in the box. The only thing I did with this is I just clear coated it. So keep it looking a little better, a little bit longer. All right, so now we're ready to throw it in. We're gonna go for this bottom one. I'm gonna take the pin out and bolt it. That's 
stuff. All right, so we got a steering box in. <laughs> Yay. Now we just need to fill it back up with some fluid and bleed it and we'll be ready to roll.